Hey guys, Corey Allen within the spread here talking about some different rods and reels I've picked up recently. Uh, specifically from the Tackle Industries Vexen line, which I've been a big fan of and a proponent of uh, for a few years now. Um, and this specifically one, we talked earlier about the lighter spinning rod. This is the Vexen 8'6 inshorts from the inshore series. Uh, just to kind of show comparison, this both says medium heavy. These are both medium heavy. One is 7'6, this is 8'6. But just for the purchaser's uh, understanding, there's a big difference in rod rod balance. So this is a medium heavy, this is a medium heavy, this is an eight foot six, seven foot six. So not even identical, the same action. Totally different rod, and that's why I like it. This is the eight foot six uh, medium heavy rod length, uh, eight foot six. Lure weight one to four ounces, which is the big giveaway. So it's rated for thirty to fifty pound braid. I've got fifty pound braid on it. Uh, not that that's some kind of like huge thing you have to abide by but I try to and it's a big deal it's a it, it's a yeah, the braid length the braid uh, sorry the braid pound strength is very important not so much with the rod but the kind of components you're going to be using with it so got a little bit lighter braid the other one had 30 this one had 50 uh, this is a 50 pound uh, excuse me six, excuse me 60 pound AFW seven strand nylon coated leader with the coast lock snap rated for 75 pounds and the 100 pound mighty coast lock swivel because you don't want to outbalance your leaders by the way i make all my own leaders and honestly i suggest you do too it's not too hard um save you a lot of time a lot of money and uh, save you a lot of time save you a lot of money and you can make them you know customized to whatever size length uh like i said i use a bit of a little i love these coast lock snaps because they're really uh, they're really small given the uh, pound strength that they have. This is a 75 pound snap, and uh, we're going to be talking about this rod specifically for the downsizing nature of musky fishing. Now we talked earlier uh, when guys talk to springtime downsizing how it's not just a springtime thing, but they don't think about walleye size stuff or like really small quarter ounce to half ounce jerk baits. That's what we were talking about. What kind of combo you need with that? Uh, with that inshore seven foot six. Now this is more suited for the regular typical um, conventional musky downsizing and what we're using to kind of demonstrate that is a popular springtime bait it's not a spring dog it's the uh, tackle industries version of the spring dog which is the mini d and i actually like these better to be honest with you um the wings on them make them have a little bit more glide and the tail end on this actually swims when you rip it so the cool thing about this is when you're not using a bait caster the reason i use a spinning rod for this kind of stuff is the fact that it throws a lot smoother. You can fling it a country mile with little effort. And also the line pickup is faster on these spinning reels. You can keep less slack out of it. You can swim these a little bit better. This is eight foot six, so you've got a good, good figure eight length on it. And it's just light enough too that you don't want that totally stiff tip. Now, I know this is a little bit stiffer, but it's still got more bow to it than a regular bait casting rod that's stiff traditional musky stick and I think those are a lot more suited for spinning reel because you want that constant tension on it you don't want that snappy driving the hooks in you don't want to drive the hooks in so much as you want the constant pressure between the spinning reel drag and see if you have a like if you have constant pressure on a bait casting reel a lot of times it's still gonna go like that this is the way they're built with a spinning reel you have constant pressure you're gonna have constant drag Pulls out a lot smoother, especially when combined with a good balanced spinning rod, like this one is. The big thing about this, though, is this is the perfect size and perfect weight for throwing those downsized spinning, uh, those downsized musky presentations like this, like a six-inch jake. Cool thing about having like a six-inch jerkbait or something like that. You try to throw it on a big musky stick. Uh, a lot of times, it's kind of hard to throw it. Period because of the fact it's a little bit lighter. So you can really fling those things on these a lot further than you can with a, like a smaller bait casting out combo. But the other thing is too, you have line pickups. So when you're fishing a little bit faster, 